All right, now we're here at the uh, AirPrint Activator website. Link is in the description down below. Now we're going to install version two, which uh, can be used on OS X Lion, which is coming out soon, uh, and it works with OS five, which is also coming out soon. So we're not going to bother installing the old, old version. So I need you to come down here under download and click on AirPrint Activator version two. Once that loads up, you'll see this page. Um, you can have a read of it if you like. All we got to do is come down here to download. If you're on an Intel Mac, it's the first link, or if you're using a PowerPC, it's the second link. So we're going to click the first one, because that's what I'm using. It's going to download. And bam, right there. Now, I've already downloaded this, but uh, we'll, we'll go through and do it again. Open up a new final window, head to Downloads, and move AirPrint Activator into your Applications folder. Bam, right there, it's done. Jump into Applications and open up AirPrint Activator for me. Because it is the first time we are opening this app, uh, we're going to have to click open. Uh, we'll click, let me try that some more. Now, as you can see here, it's off and it says offline. Now, turn it on, it'll be on for sharing. Now, if your printer doesn't come up here, like this one here, what you're going to have to do is head over here to, head up to the Apple menu and system preferences, print and fax, and make sure this share the printer on the network uh, is selected and in sharing preferences printer sharing is selected. We'll go back to print and if both of those are on you're going to have to delete and reinstall the printer. Once you've, if, uh, you've done both of those and it's not working head to the website for some more tips. Now that uh, it's on and uh, it's got your printer selected there you can head over to any iOS device Open it up, click on print, select the right, uh, select the printer, and now you can print. But let me let me just say, um, once you've activated this once, it stays activated. Even when you shut down, reboot, all that sort of jazz, it's it's uh, still activated. So it's uh, it's really good with the software. But the uh, computer that you put it on has to be on for your iOS device to be able to print because uh, your it. it the software ultimately turns your Mac into a print server. So, yeah, that's just kind of like a one downside. But I suppose, you know, save you buying a whole new printer. Anyways, that is our AirPrint Activator. Hope you will enjoy it. Hope you will uh, click the uh, orange subscribe button up top there. I am James. There's a mouse running around, and I'm going to actually go catch the printer outside. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys in my next video. I found the mouse, I found the mouse, I found the mouse.